Well, uh, my name is Rich Peterson. I'm uh, Director of Marketing for the Software Solutions at SanDisk, and I'm only going to speak to you very briefly, and then I'll turn it over to Smart Guy, my colleague uh, Sergey Schatz, uh, engineering fellow at SanDisk. And um, the challenge for today, uh, offline, is uh, if somebody can let me know what the hand symbols are for Smart Guy, Marketing Guy, and Sales Guy, that would be very interesting to see. You could use the scissors and the paper and the rock. I, I'm thinking there's another hand signal in there somewhere. <laughs> 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 Look out one for the sales guy. Yeah, somebody checks the sales guy. Yeah. Okay, great. Great. Um, but we're here to talk about something we're really excited about. We were at VMworld in 2012 to introduce the first solution that we brought to market that would enable the use of a solid state device in the server to increase storage performance for VMware vSphere. And that was called FlashSoft. And we're still going forward with FlashSoft. It's been on the market for a couple of years now. And uh, at this VMworld, uh, we were able to announce a very close collaboration that we've been engaged with with VMware, not for, not for the currently shipping product, but for ESX6. And that program is called the vSphere APIs for IO filtering. And uh, we are working with VMware as a design partner for those APIs so that any third party can use native APIs within vSphere ESX6 in order to enable a caching engine to integrate through open APIs and accelerate storage performance. And so it's a real move forward. We're very uh, honored to be a part of the effort. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, let Surge take over now and really introduce sort of a little bit of the background so that everybody in the room and everybody online knows where we're coming from, what are the objectives for the program, and then from that point just dive in and start talking about what it is and how it works. Um, so at this point I'll turn it over to Serge. Okay. Thank you. So thank you for inviting us and thank you for coming. Uh, any questions, anytime, more than welcome. Uh, so I like to be more interactive <laughs> than just just no monologues, I would say. <clears throat> uh, first of all, we would like to maybe uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, VMware objectives to bring this IO filtering, uh, this fair API for IO filtering uh, <clears throat> product on the market, which is coming soon, uh, will be available uh, on the market. <clears throat> first of all, uh, they want to provide friendly environment for third-party software to run in their environment. Because you see, uh, previously uh, it was possible, but uh, all companies try to uh, make some tricks or to use private APIs or to, anyway, just tricks and tricks and tricks uh, to get information what they need to be in a uh, place um, in this stack, let's say storage stack, um, and now they said, no, this is an API for ecosystem partners that will provide API for different type of software. Initially they mentioned replication for disaster recovery caching and actually uh, encryption as well. Drivers, different these filters that they call, will be loaded in, in this uh, environment um, in a specific altitude. Uh, for example, replication will be above caching. They cannot be below caching, otherwise uh, caching, right back cache, for example, will change fidelity of writes and replication will replicate data always inconsistent on a secondary side. <clears throat> but, uh, lots of companies that now developing uh, this software uh, will will switch to this new API. Uh, VMware claim that this is a, a safe, secure, and fully certified way. Um, secure. I, I, I don't. I, I don't know what it means. Safe and secure. But certified, I would say definitely. And um, you know, uh, there is a partnering program from VMware that called PDSP. But we believe that being part of this API will be certified caching solution, which is a big step ahead. And not just not a partner partnering, but it is a certified caching solution, which is very very important. So. Fully certified for, for us is probably the most important world <laughs> for this. <clears throat> uh, 
secure, of course, because we do not, they, they guarantee that whatever we do will not impact the whole entire system. And uh, this is for us, this is for customers. It is a safe and secure customer use this solution. That's for us, that's for them. Um, they said that this API, which is to minimize risk for VMware kernel stability, uh, currently pretty much all existing interesting, I would say, caching solutions, including SanDisk and other um, our competitors, they use a kernel model in a different altitude. Uh, typically now, everybody use uh, use uh, what they call uh, PSA filtering, um, which is a available public API. Um, and but this is a kernel, and VMware definitely doesn't want uh, one kernel module uh, to crash the whole entire machine. If replication, let's say, stop replicating, machine is still alive. Situation a little bit worse with caching, so when we talk to them and say, you know what, uh, when we told us first time about pushing us into user mode. Uh, did you participate this, Alex Josh, very good presentation uh, yesterday in the world, no? Because he talked a lot about uh, his v PM for this program, Vivol and this program. Very good presentation, by the way. If it will be available, uh, please uh, just find a time to, to watch it. <clears throat> but uh, they want to minimize uh, the damage that potentially third party software can do. But back to our conversation with them, we told them, okay, we'll not screw up your kernel, but we'll screw it all virtual machine because we're caching technology. But they said, okay, 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 okay. But anyway, so the whole server will be alive. And for them, it is, it is important. It is very important, maybe back a little bit to safety here. This solution uh, will encapsulate each software provider encapsulate in like at a container vm is a container one instance that runs for this uh for this uh virtual machine will not see anything for this virtual machine that's why they try to uh, eliminate any security holes that this kind of api can just bring uh to VMware to vSphere. Uh, extremely low latency and high efficiency access to uh, VMIO. Uh, now this is the time to tell a little bit what they want to do. Instead of uh, kernel model, they push everybody into the user mode. User mode means that we are inside VM. Not inside guest, outside, we have a library for VMX. And we will have our software like an instance running inside each VM, downloaded, loaded by them with, together with VM, because we're part of VMX. And everybody who is the part of this program will be loaded automatically. And they provide all capabilities for us <coughs> to, number one, and it's very important to uh, have our own persistent attributes for each virtual disk because visibility, granularity will be virtual disk. We need a lot of information, our own information about, uh, about virtual disk. They give us this API and as well they give us the API to the kernel to start I.O. Because you see, and we'll talk when we uh, talk about on the next slide, um, Sometime if data in a, in a cache, we just want to read data from SSD and complete I.O. Sometimes data is, is cache miss and we send it there. If it is right back cache, they will write, uh, into the, we will write into the cache, confirm and in some point we have to flush. So we'll talk about this uh, problems behind that. You will see that right back cache with multiple instances that they cause by their design, which is really good design that we did, by the way, together. 
<laughs> so this is a little brag there, you know, like, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> we find this together, and mm, you will see how many small and big things we have to design together, and they implemented this very good VMware team working on this program. Colonel guys, um, it's a great guys. By the way, about this team, they work with uh, guys, storage guys, network guys, uh, kernel guys, they're kernel guys, but they bring together different pieces. And later, we'll, again, next slide, <laughs> we will see how good to work together, really together with VMware. Uh, the worst to work against VMware, but uh, not to be supported really, you will see the difference, not to be supported but to be legal, but to be legal and to be supported. You will see the huge difference uh, in the many details that actually is not a small details. Um, <clears throat> We will have virtual disk level, level granularity because we'll, we, we're virtual machine, we see virtual disk. Uh, not VMDK, but virtual disk. So that would put you in front of a raw device mapping as well because you're, you're sitting in the virtual SCSI layers? Yes, yes. Uh, we're above this and um, you see, because of that, we support NFS, mm -hmm. Vivo, everything because they switch to yeah. uh, okay so I, i'll tell you only what alex told yesterday because we are on, on the nda with vmware and i'll i have a frame <laughs> nothing here there's some black lines through the things you can tell us yes <laughs> yes yes sorry but our relationship with vmware is more important for us than the relationship with us with all our respect so sorry you'll tell us later <laughs> He's kind of low on the title pool anyways, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you can skip ahead. <laughs> dive, in, dive into the next slide. Okay. Yeah. But something here, yes. <clears throat> Virtual disk granularity, <clears throat> integrated management, they think about management as well. This is very important. GUI and all management will be delivered by them, and they provide plugins for us for this. Integrated development, um, Service and everything, Web, BAM, BAM, whatever you, you, you name it. Uh, basically, uh, we're together. And finally, what I mentioned, everything will be supported because of altitude where we are. <clears throat>